We're back. You'll see the St. Laverty Show on CRN Digital Talk Radio. And uh, we're talking to Britt McCallion today about holidays, life passion, work, sort of, you know, really taking some time in the next few weeks to evaluate what matters to you. We're not saying you have to change your job. We're not saying you have to go be an entrepreneur, but there is, there's an entrepreneurial spirit that if you can bring that into your life and into your workplace, whether you work for a corporation or you own your own business or whatever it is, it will really help you get clear and focused about what it is that you really want, what gets you going, what makes you want to get up in the morning. So Britt is my guest, and if you want to find her, she says the best place to find her is on Twitter, <laughs> at Mama Britt. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Um, but I have her websites listed on my site, so that could be a good place for you also. If you go to crntalk.com forward slash Cindy Laverty, you can find Britt there also. Okay, I want to talk about the importance of self-care, especially for women, because we're really good at putting ourselves on the back burner. Right? Yes. Okay. I love that you're bringing this up, actually, because I love that you brought it up right after we were talking about Twitter, because I have to say that because I spend a lot of time on Twitter and because we formed social media girlfriends, and I love talking to the girlfriends in the stream, my business partner does as well, it can get so almost addicting to be (laughs) on Twitter and blow off your workout and not really probably be eating what you should be eating, you know? Right. So that's, again, why it's so important to be really organized with your time. And I literally had to just go ahead and splurge on getting a trainer for myself Mm -hmm. so that I have an appointment that I have to go meet somebody and taking care of my own health and self-care is making sure that I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing aside from work, you know, and and making sure that I'm eating the food that I should be eating and that I'm getting the physical activity that I need to be doing. And that, in turn, affects the success of your business. Right. How? how? (laughs) I don't really know how. I just know that it does. And the way that I know that it does is because when I started focusing more on my own personal health and doing things like cleanses and really focusing on my body as sort of part of my business mm-hmm. in a way, um, it just affected everything just kind of shifted into I understood why I needed to be you know, healthy, why I needed to be eating the right foods, why I needed to be um, meditating and um, really in a good mental space. And you know, that affects your business because you show up differently. Right. You know, when right. you're flossing your teeth at night and you're, and you're, you know, doing all the things, doing your 30 minutes or whatever it is of exercise and you're and all of that, you have a different level of confidence. You have a different level of clarity. Your energy is up. You know, there's just so many different reasons, but it all is part of, you know, it all kind of works together. And so, and the other side of it is making sure that you've got that social component as well. And, right. and you know, that you're checking out of the business and checking into your relationships with your friends, your kids, your partner, and really making sure that you're shutting off the work at some point in time during the day and committing to that. It's hard. And getting sleep. Yep. Sleep. You know, there's, I there's love nothing, my sleep. <laughs> there's nothing glorious or honorable in neglecting your own self care. True. But, you know, I, I don't know why so many people, it, it's like, you know, well, I only got two hours of sleep last night. Are you bragging about that? I mean, yeah. I'm always curious. Yeah. I can't wait to go to bed at night. <laughs> I'm the same way. I just, you know, I've got to get eight or nine hours. And if I don't, I really feel it. I do, too. I do, yeah. too. So what happens when we're starting out in business and we're comparing ourselves to other really successful entrepreneurs? Such a great question. You know, and I just did a blog post, and I sort of touched on this a little bit, but it's so easy to compare yourself or to want to get to the level of somebody else who's already been in business for a while. Yeah. And it's tempting to sort of look at what they've done and want to emulate it. And I can't say that I've never done any of this because I've absolutely done this. We've all done this. Yeah, and you you see somebody else's brand, and you like what they're doing, so you want your brand to be like their brand because they must be successful. And really, it just all goes back. What what you will learn and what you will find out is that if your business is not based on your values right. and your passions, it's not going to work. Something will be amiss. 
So you really have to just do this foundation work. I feel like we're, you know, we keep going back to this, but it's But true. it's true. I mean, it's yeah. absolutely true. So, but but it's it's also just so easy to go to a seminar and have some fabulous speaker up there and you, you know, sit there and go, well, I'm going to be just like her. Yeah. And you can't be just like her. Well, and the other <laughs> side of it is, is that I used to do that. And then I got to a point where I thought to myself, you know what? I've got three kids. I don't really want to be flying all around the country speaking at different engagements. I want to be at home. So right. I need to look at what I – so the other side of, you know, doing the work and figuring out, you know, your, your values and your passions and your strengths and building a business around that, the other side of it is looking at what you want your ideal lifestyle to look like. So how many hours a day do you want to be working? And if you want to be stopping, you know, if you want to turn off the work when your kids get home from school and you want to commit to that and make that part of your business, then what can you do? And that's why it's really important to be organized as well. Right. But really being honest with yourself, you want to write a book, does that mean that you want to get a pub publisher? Okay, so d if they want you to go on a 50-city um, book tour, are you going to want to do that? Yeah. Probably not if you want to stay home with your kids. Right, right. And are you comfortable doing that? That's a right. baby also. Yeah. You know, how unrealistic. Oh, Paul, I'm just about to ask her a really important question. <laughs> well, that's a good lead in. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. All right. Well, we're going to come into the last uh, segment here. So stay with us. You're listening to Cindy Laverty Show. I'll be right back with Britt, who I really hope will be coming back. Do you?